before I was playing Robocraft, normal as I normally do, when I remembered something that made me want to get to the editor as quickly as possible. The memory in question is about an old video of a YouTuber, Dragus, playing the siege when one of the vehicles was simply a fan with wheels on the hull. It climbed anything and everything. I went up and put a propeller on top of a car just to see if I got the same effect. To my surprise, I did. I was so happy, problem is, it wasn't able to vertical, vertically scale anything. It easily lost the speed if the angle was vertical in any way. It had to be a, at a certain horizontal angle, maybe just a bit above 45 degrees. This could be slightly helped in small doses of strict horizontal movement. Wait until you hit full, full speed with it, and then quickly hit vertical. That was until one of the first few friends I introduced it to came up with the weird idea of adding a hover. When he demonstrated his ability to now scale any wall at any angle regardless of speed, we were quick to copy him. Now I would like to shout him out if I remembered his name, I've got feelings that it says it's FT68 but I won't be 100% for sure. Now the second generation stands as possibly a meta of sorts. A much higher tier player, around 3000 CPU high tier, used our concept on his already existing bot. It's a beast more than already was, and I'm happy for him. Now my bot in the robot factory is called the actual all-terrain. I say that it's the actual all-terrain because it does more than a spider, and faster on very flat surfaces. Think of everything a spider could walk on, and then think of what it can't. Those of you with a creative mind will understand just what this thing is capable of. Now there's a little trick that only a select few people know that, that I've showed about the second generation bot. I'm, I'm featuring here, and I won't go into detail of what trick it is, but I will hint that this vehicle has a very interesting form of flight that the only, only the most persistent people will be able to get down. So you might be asking what's so great about this car, as you can see it's slower when on walls or ceilings that aren't flat. Firstly, I wanted to make this easy to buy for players with the inability to buy big and expensive things to get around quickly. I consider it to be a poor man's spider, except it uses wheels. Besides, spider legs are much larger than the tires put on the robot, so it's much easier to shoot down the legs. If any surface is flat enough, including ceilings and walls, you can move horizontally quickly. One thing I will say is its downside is when you go down high ground, not like climbing down a flat mountain, but say you have a 45 degree hill and you move down it, you tend to float downwards, which means you move slowly. Secondly, when moving across bumpy and rounded surfaces, it is as if you are hitting the top of a hill and you're going too fast, we'll obviously have you launch off instead of staying on the ground. The making of this video was to make sure no random person took credit for my work. I'll say it didn't take too much thinking and whoever first made the thing back in Besiege was that was in Dragus' video should take credit. Sadly I have no idea who it was, but the second generation concept, also known as the Finnish concept, credit for that I think goes to FT68. Thank you for watching and hopefully I reread the meta. That isn't something you just say casually.